What is up, everybody? Back with some more NBA Best Bets. I got five plays for you guys once again today. Hopefully, we can sweep the board. We went 4-1 and one yesterday on our free picks. Really good day for the free picks. Can't complain at all. We even cashed our ladder challenge yesterday. So, uh, the only play we had yesterday that missed for free picks was Fox over first quarter points. And uh, Fox has sold me twice in a row now. Getting a little frustrated. But uh, for that ladder challenge... You can see we had SGA over 19 and a half points, and then Chris Dunn under eight and a half rebounds and assists. Both of those cashed pretty easy. Chris Dunn got a little bit scary towards the end there. He had like four RA in the third quarter, put him at seven, but luckily he didn't come back out the fourth. His minutes were low last night, as they usually are, and uh, Chris Dunn cashed for us. So if you guys want to get on this ladder challenge, Make sure you sign up for Chalkboard. If you deposit $10, you also get a free month of VIP, and we also are sending people, uh, well, I'm just get join the Discord server. And uh, you'll find out about that. But we're doing a little giveaway for people who, people who sign up with our chalkboard code. But uh, anyways, guys, if you want to get a free month of VIP, you can sign up with any of our partnered apps, by the way. We have Sleeper, Parlay Play, Chalkboard, um, Underdog, uh, Pri not Prize Picks, but uh, Thunder Pick. There's a lot more. Just join our Discord server and you can get that. And uh, if you want to get all of our plays without signing up for an app, you can head on over, head on over to our Patreon. 25 bucks a month. You get every play that we post, every player our mods post, post. Lots of plays in our Discord server. Highly recommend you guys go and sign up for that. Also doing a giveaway again, guys. 50 comments, 200 likes in this video. Um, I will give a free month of VIP to somebody in the comments. We are super close to 10K, guys. If you guys could do me a massive favor, drop a sub button or hit drop a sub, hit the like button, leave a comment. I think we need like eight subscribers to hit 10K. That's been a huge goal of mine for a while. So I want to say thank you guys for that. One more plug. We'll jump into these plays. The two websites I use for this video. The first one is called DGF. So Daily Grind Fantasy, this is a tool, it's an optimizer. What it does, it takes all the props from all of our sports betting, uh, sports betting apps like Prize Picks, Underdog, Parlay Play, um, soon to be Chalkboard, has most of them on here. It takes those props, compares them to sports book lines, and it gives you a positive EV value. So you can see here we have BAM, under RA, 53.63%. So you can line shop, bunch of lines really, really quickly. Helps with your research. I don't recommend just taking a playoff. It's just playing it automatically unless you're playing of like high volume slips and that's the way you want to play. But uh, I like. I do think it gives uh, it gives you an idea of plays you can take and you can research yourself and figure out if you like them. But uh, love DGF. If you want to get a free or 25% off discount, use the link down in the description. It is code Aces. And uh, the other uh, the other website we use is called Outlier.bet. We have a seven day free trial link down in the description if you want to use it, if you're interested. But this is the one we use for all of our charts. Really like this. It makes uh, things really easy to research as well. So, highly recommend you guys sign up for both of these. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into these free picks. So, first one's going to be the DGF play of the day. Lots of plays on here. Not any that I just love. I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of scrolled through a little bit before the video. I was like, eh. There's some of them I do like, but there's not any that I just like, man, I love that play. So what I'm going to do is take a risk on this. We're trusting DGF one more time. So we're going to take one of these 53 plus percent odds, the, two, the top three. This is prize picks. Let's see what underdog has first. Let's go over to underdog real quick. Clear all. NBA. Let's see what their highest percentage prop is. So Jalen Brown, points and rebounds. 50, almost a 55% chance to go over. So, uh. I guess we'll lock that in. Let's give our boy Jalen Brown a chance. We haven't played Jalen Brown in a while, so we'll take his points and rebounds as the DGF play of the day with almost a 55% chance to hit. Points and rebounds, let's look at it. It's a 56% chance according to Outlier, minus 145 odds on DraftKings. You can pull it up here. He's cast it in six of his last 10 games. Had a couple of, or three of games where he had over 40 PR. If you go 2023 season, he's cast it in 45%, 17 of 38 games. Head to head, it's a two of two. So he's cast it in both games versus Denver. Um, I like to play. I think Denver is going to be, a, I think it's going to be a good game tonight. I think it's going to be kind of a playoff type atmosphere. And uh, I do like Jalen Brown. I like to play. So looking at Denver's uh, defense, give up seventh in points, seventh in rebounds. Go to small four position at seventh and fourth. So uh, don't give up many points or rebounds in this position. But if Jalen Brown has a good game, he can definitely cash this pretty easy for us. So locking in our boy JB over 29.5 points and rebounds. We'll go ahead and pull it up over here. Make sure it is still on uh, underdog. So 29.5 is there. We'll check prize picks. I'm assuming it's not on prize picks or it would have been their top play as well. Yeah, so they don't have that PRA. I don't think PRA is bad, but I don't like it as much as points and rebounds. So we're going to hold off on this one. Uh, Jalen Brown, 29.5 points and rebounds. will be play number one, the DGF play of the day. So play number two 
is going to be uh, running it back with our boy C.J. McCollum, locking him in over first quarter assists. Top play right here. 72% chance for this to hit. We locked this in on Sleeper. Highly recommend you guys get it soon because I don't think it's going to be there long. Minus 2 254 odds. Really good value. He's cast it in nine of his last 10 games. He's been playing really good basketball of lately. He's cast it of 22 of 28 games this season. Head to head, he's cast it four or four. Uh, none of them are from this season, but it's versus Phoenix. You can see Phoenix gives up ninth in the league in assists, giving up almost 26 a game. Go to shooting guard, they give up 25th in the league, give up a ton of assists. I think CJ's regular line is at four and a half. I think it's a good play as well, but uh, I don't know. I probably wouldn't take it over four and a half, honestly. Looking at his twenty, looking at the season, he hasn't had any games over four, so he isn't getting a crap ton of assists. But uh, I think he's definitely going to be able to get one in the first quarter. Get a little bit of a discount here if you compare it to the four and a half, because that would be uh, a little over one per quarter that he'd have to get. So uh, getting that one is nice. I like it at point, over 0.5 first quarter assists. It's not on a prize picks or underdog right now. There's no point in me even checking. I know for a fact it's not. It maybe it, maybe it did. I, I just think I know for a fact, but. I'm 90% sure it's not. I don't want to waste your guys' time, but um, I will. Well, it's not going to be on there on here either. But anyway, CJ McCollum, first quarter assist over 0.5 is my lock of the day. I really like that play, and that is pick number two. So jumping into pick number three, another assist prop. I've been playing a lot of them lately. I'm not usually an assist prop kind of guy, but I've been playing a lot lately. They've been cashing for me for the most part. So taking Trey Young over nine and a half assists. 58% chance to go over, minus 145 fan duel, minus 166 on DraftKings. If you look at his last 10, he's catching six of his last 10, 26 of 38 on the season, almost a 70% hit rate. And then head to head, he's hitting four of seven games. So uh, they are playing against Miami tonight. Assists allowed, they give up, Miami gives up 15th in the league, got a point guard, they go up 19th in the league, giving up eight. 7 assists per game. So, look at our boy Trey Young. He's cast just in four of his last five games. You can see here, uh, he's had a couple games where he's had over 11. He's averaging um, right at 11 assists per game. And you can see 13 and 11 in his last two matchups versus the Heat this season. So, right here, 11 and 13 those last two games. So, really like this play with our boy Trey Young. Nine and a half assists. I think he's going to cash it for us. We'll go ahead and pull it up over here on underdog. Trey Young. They got him at 10. On underdog, so I think he's gonna get at least 10. So I think it just adds push potential. I like the play still at 10, so I'd still lock it in. Anything over 10, I would fade. Trey Young, they don't even have assists on prize picks right now. Hopefully, it gets dropped soon. But uh, that is gonna be pick number three of the day. Jumping into pick number four, really like this play as well. Locking in our man Tatum. So Tatum didn't have a very good game last game, but we're locking him in over RA. I think it was last game of the game that he didn't do very well. I'm not real sure on that. But anyway, taking him over 12 and a half rebounds and assists, minus 150 DraftKings, 58% chance to hit. If you pull him up here, he's cashed it in 10 of his last, uh, or six of his last 10 games. And yeah, he had seven last game. Last game's the one he struggled. But um, 2023 season, he's cashed it in 22 of 38, 58% chance. Head to head, he's been over this and uh, his last two games versus Denver, neither are from this season. So looking at this play, he's hit this two of his last three games in the season, or two of his last three games, obviously it is on the season, but he's uh, also hit it in both games versus uh, Denver last season. Should be a good game. Like I said, it should be a playoff type atmosphere. I think the stars are gonna be playing and gonna be stepping it up. So like to play a lot. We've already went over def uh, Denver's uh, defense. Seventh in rebounds, eighth in assists. Small forward, 4th and 13th, so they give up a little bit of a decent amount of assists, but not many rebounds. <clears throat> but I think our boy Tatum is going to get it tonight, so I'm going to lock him in. You guys can fade any play you don't like. So 13 on price or underdog, so bumped a little bit. That's why I would suggest getting sleeper or chalkboard. <clears throat> Man, dude. Oh, prize picks doesn't have anything, man. Why do they do this to me? They just make me look stupid on my video. They just waste my time typing. Come on, prize picks. Step your game up. Fifth and final play of the day, guys. It's going to be for our man, LaMelo Ball. He sold us the other night by a hook. But we're going to lock him over points today. So 25.5, 55% chance to go over. It's the lowest chance hit rate according to Outlier for us. Minus 150 DraftKings, still really good value. He's cashed this in eight of his last 10 games. Cast it in 10 of 18 on the season. It's a 56%. They're playing against uh, the Spurs tonight. So looking at Spurs defense, 
Give up 26 in the league in points. Give up a ton of points. Got a point guard position. It's even better. 27. Give up a massive amount of points. Looking at our boy Ball. Uh, line's 26 and a half on prize picks. So you do get better value by playing it over on Sleeper. But uh, Ball's getting back to 30 minutes a game. He just had 28 minutes against them uh, three games ago. And uh, only 26 minutes in his first game back. So now he's getting a few more minutes. And uh, I think this is a game that Charlotte can win. So I think our boy Ball is going to step it up. I think he's going to have a great game tonight. And i got to lock him in. Looking at the head-to-head, -head, he's only had it in uh, he's cashed it in his last two games. Uh, this one was this year, I do believe. But uh, anyway, i like to play a lot for our man, LaMelo Ball. And I have to lock him in. Over 25.5 points. 26 and a half, I wouldn't lock in. 26, I would. So I like Ball at 26. It is 26 and a half on prize picks. Fade it. We're just going to close prize picks out. Forget it. <laughs> I guess this ain't a prize picks video. My bad. But uh, anyways, those are our five plays. So first play, Jalen Brown, 29.5 points and rebounds. Over. We got Trey Young, over nine and a half rebounds and assists. Tatum, over 12 and a half rebounds and assists. Or Young was assists, not rebounds and assists. My bad. But LaMelo Ball, over 25 and a half points. And then our other play was for our boy CJ McCollum, over 0.5 first quarter assist so those are our five plays of the day hopefully we sweep the boards once again hit that sub button drop a like drop a comment for a chance at free vip hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next video